And here we go, people. All right, so today's the reading. Lots of techniques, lots of different things we're going to be doing, okay? Luisana, don't worry. It's being recorded. So uh, are you okay? Great. Great. Yeah, I'm almost at home, okay? Okay, no... No problema. My mom would always say no problema. And then after the problema, she smacked me in the face. I'm like, mom, you said no problema. So here we go. So let's break this down. <laughs> you know, when I do something about she said, oh, mira, no problema. You know what I mean? And I'm like, oh, no, that's no problem. Okay. All right. So here we go. Let's do this. All right. Question number one. Inference questions. So with inference questions, we have to think outside the box to answer the question. These ones require a little bit thinking outside the box. So what we got to do, people, to be honest with you, what it comes down to is making sure we put the paragraph into our own words, right? So with this question, tip number one, go to the paragraph, because guess what? We need to make sense of the paragraph, put it into our own words, and then we can use process of elimination by eliminating everything. Again, very quickly, look at number one, and it says, what can be inferred about islands? So we need to understand what is, what is being said about islands, okay? What is it that's being said about islands? And then after that, we could go to A, B, C, D, and I'm going to show you another technique. So here we go. Let's look at number two. Islands are rich reservoirs of animal and plant species. Okay, islands have plant and animal species. The islands with biodiversity most at risk are oceanic and small islands. Okay, oceanic small animals, they're at risk. Okay, and then it says islands have unique biodiversity that is distinct from that found in continental land mass areas. So Islands biodiversity is different from, let's say, Saudi Arabia or Iran, which doesn't have islands, okay? So that's what it's saying here. And then it goes on to say flightless species, dwarfism, and gigantism are some unusual characteristics. So these type of species, as well as the flightless species and the dwarfism, gigantism, are some of the unusual characteristics that you could find at islands in comparison with continental land mass areas. Now, we already have a good idea. We don't have to go back and read it. Listen, tip number two, do not read the paragraph. For inference questions, do not read it. Put it into your own words. You're going to summarize each sentence. This is a sentence right here. We're summarizing it in our own words. Well, actually two sentences. One right here, here goes another one, two, and then we got obviously three, and then number four. We're summarizing each sentence in our own words so we can understand is what we're doing. All right, so here we go. Now we could go to the questions, given the fact that we understand everything, and we're going to look at number one. It says the biodiversity of mainland and continental islands are most at risk. Now, remember mainland, okay, we're talking about continental landmass areas. Does it say anything about mainland being most at risk? What we have to do is look for no. the word most at risk. Here we go. The first in the second oceanic. one. Now, obviously, the continental islands are at risk. Islands in general are at risk, but it says nothing about mainland being at risk. So what happens here, some of the wrong answers we see, one will be true, but another part will be false. One part of the answer will be true, another part will be false. So be very careful with those types, okay? Now... B, common species. Does it say anything about common species? No. Now, let's look. Found on mainland and islands are most at risk. Again, it says here, islands are rich reservoirs of plant this. The islands with biodiversity are more at risk. What Does it say anything about common species on the mainland? No, it only talks about island species. And those that are at risk are obviously the ones that are on the island. 
the ones that have the unusual characteristics such as gigantism, dwarfism, flightless species. No. So unique biodiversity on oceanic islands are at risk. What do you think about that? So we eliminated A, we eliminated B, and now we're looking at C and D. So if we look at C, it says unique biodiversity on oceanic islands are at risk. And D, flightless birds are most at risk. Which one is the bad answer? For me, it's C. For you, it's C. Okay. Yes. Why? Why C? Because flightless birds are the most at risk, but we don't... We don't read any most in the paragraph. Oh, so, so you said C is the answer or C is a bad answer? For me, C is the best answer. Oh, the okay, okay. One. All right, all right. You scared me. I was like, okay, hold on. What's going on? Okay, you think C is a bad answer. Okay, that's uh -huh. right. right. Because guess what? Does it say flightless birds? It doesn't even mention birds. And it doesn't even mention are most at risk. Now, if that were to be true, you would have to say flightless species with dwarfism and gigantism are most at risk, correct. However, it just says flightless birds are most at risk, but it doesn't say anything in that paragraph in terms of that. Tip number three, bad answers are easy to find much faster than the good answers, the, the correct answer. So by looking at inference questions, okay, and you look at the paragraph and you put it into your own words. Another technique that you could use is looking at A, it says the biodiversity of mainland continental islands are most at risk. Key word, most at risk. Find that in the paragraph. Listen, this paragraph is very short. Normally some paragraphs can be upwards to 12 lines, especially when it comes to soil bullshit and horrible, British literature that'll put your ass to sleep in two seconds. <laughs> okay. All right. That bullshit ass British literature, Henry V, Henry IV, no one fucking cares. That is going to be very difficult. So you need to find some of the key phrases in the answers. Are most at risk? Are most at risk? Are at risk? Most at risk. So we know the only mention of at risk is right here. So you need to pay special close attention to this specific area so that you can understand and say, wait, biodiversity, mainland, no, uh-uh. Ocean only, islands only are at risk. Mainland, no, out. Common species, where does it say common species? No. Unique biodiversity, it says here. Rich reservoirs of animal and plant species, unique biodiversity, word for word, okay? On oceanic islands are at risk, it says here. Biodiversity, most at risk, are oceanic and small islands. Boom, that's your answer. D, flightless birds, not just them. It's also animals with dwarfism and gigantism. Infer questions is you putting it into your own words and looking at the comparison and contrast between the answers so that you can make an educated guess or at least eliminate the bad answers because that's exactly what I did in A, B, and then I asked Oriana about uh, C and D, and there it is, because a lot of students have difficulties with inference questions, right? So, you know, this is, this is one of the techniques that we can follow, all right? So we're gonna go with C. All right, Good. all right. <laughs> okay. I, hey, I don't know if it's true. Ah. I'm Aww. kidding, I'm kidding, no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> No, it should. It should be true. It should be true. Okay. All right. So, oh, look at, I love Louisa. Look at Louisa doing all that writing. She's so good. Okay. That's a good, <laughs> that's a good student. Okay. So here we go. According to paragraph three, what country greatest number of endemic species? So endemic species, the country that has, actually, this is very easy. <laughs> this passage Not is actually very, very easy because everything is straightforward. I wanna show you the techniques and the tips to answering these questions first, so then we can apply them to the next reading passage. 
that's going to be very difficult. <laughs> Okay, that's right. That's right. I'm giving you hope. All right. I'm giving you hope and I'm going to take the hope away. All right. But with the tips and strategies, you should be able to answer them. Now, this one's easy. Greatest number endemic species. Greatest number endemic species. Those are your key words. So obviously, I look for a number. I found 8,000. And with 8,000, I found endemic species. Okay, and then right before that, obviously, is the country, which is what? Madagascar. Madagascar, easy. Tip mm -hmm. number one. And these types of questions, again, find the key word, greatest number, endemic species. Those are your two key main words. Paragraph three, it's not going to be short as it is in this one. I'm just giving you tips right now. Okay, it's going to get ugly. Okay, but we just got to know and execute the plan all right by saying okay well i'm looking for a number found it endemic species found it look for the country in the same sentence boom easy all right who knows oh yeah okay so here we go moving on okay paragraph number five why does the author mention the extinction of island dwelling bird species Okay, now here we go. Key words, extinction, island dwelling, island bird species. Dwelling, their species. Right, I found it right here. Now, we have to understand why. Consequently, many species on the islands are very rare and endangered. Extinction is on the increase. As an example, 90% of bird species that are now extinct were island dwellers. So before they had become extinct, they were island dwellers. Now 90% of the bird species are extinct. We're talking about the endangered habitat on the island. So in A, B, C, D, you see a correlation between, okay, because it indicates that bird, B, because it indicates that small islands, C, because it indicates that island dwelling, D, because it indicates that islands are. So... What do you think about the answers? It says A, because it indicates that bird species are more likely to become extinct. Or B, because it indicates that small islands are endangered and vulnerable. <clears throat> C, because it indicates that island dwelling animals are more likely to become extinct. Or D, because it indicates that islands are unsafe regions for endangered animals. Give me some bad answers first. Process of elimination. What bad answers do we have? Dario, what you got? It's a me. It's a Dario. What do you think, Dario? Oh, your microphone. Dario, your microphone's off. Um, I, I, I would, uh, if, if I, I mean, I would go with um, number uh, the B, the, the second one. That would be my answer because oh, that's your answer. Say, that, mm -hmm. It say the many species on islands are very rare and endangered. Um, so yeah, that that would be my my answer. Yeah. Hey, if you look at the very top of the paragraph. It says islands are still at risk. This is due to the fact that species are low in numbers, putting them at risk of extinction. Okay. Oriana, what do you think? Uh, what, your, your, mic, your audio, Oriana, is it working? I don't know what's going on. Or is it me? Dario, no, hello. Think, okay, yeah, Dario, so. I can hear you. So Oriana's audio is not good. Okay, Oriana, when you put on the headphones, you didn't uh, set your audio to Zoom, by the way. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, there you go. You're okay now. Okay, okay. Uh huh. All right. So I, I am, I am going to eliminate. I don't know if the word is correct. Correct. That's good. Uh, number A, cause good. the uh, the first answer, cause. Good. Um, bird species. They, the bird 
Is my keyword for eliminate that question? Because the focus isn't the bird. Yes, I am. Oh, oh no, no. Sorry. Sorry. I didn't. I didn't read that. But it's okay. It's okay. It just depends. It depends. That's why we're that's why we're looking at we're looking at these questions from different vantage points because sometimes the vantage point that we look at it is not very good, but the way that someone else is looking at it may be well, and then you can adopt that for future questions, right? No, that doesn't matter. I go, um, I am going to read again. Oh, okay. Sorry. Okay. Okay. But so you don't like A, you want to eliminate A? No, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Louis, Louis Sato, Louis Sato, which question do you want to eliminate? Um, I want to eliminate the B. B or D? B, B. Oh, she's eliminating your answer, Dario. Okay, why? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Dario's like, hey, mira, carajo. Hey, por qué? Por qué? <laughs> why? Why? Um, because the question is talking about the beer. And here in the says um, many species on Iceland are very rare and engaged. It's talking about the on the islands. So I think it's B. I think B is the answer. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. okay. Okay. No. No. B, no. 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 B is the correct answer. No. 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 I want no. to eliminate. Oh, B okay. Is not so the she's eliminated. Answer. Okay. Okay, Dario, yeah. you've been eliminated. Okay. All right. Okay. What? <laughs> I agree with Miss Anna. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See? And so we look at this. Okay. So obviously, um, you know, it talks about islands are unsafe uh, regions, but it says nothing about it being unsafe. So we could get rid of D. A, it says because it indicates that bird species are more likely to become extinct. It's not about the bird species. That's yeah, the wrong focus. We're talking about we're island dwellers. So whatever problem there is on the island that's what we must focus on that's why both b and c are closest to them being the answers right and so obviously b it says small islands are endangered and vulnerable or c it says island dwelling animals are more likely to become extinct and the thing is, the focus is, okay, well, bird species used to be island dwellers, and now 90% of them are extinct. And so it goes to show you that island dwelling animals are more likely to become extinct because they're living on islands that are now becoming, uh, you know, they're, they're endangered, they're vulnerable, they're put it, putting them at risk of extinction, et cetera, et cetera. So C may be the answer. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm just trying to make you think from a different approach. That's what this reading is. So you can actually take this and use it. Now, Luisana eliminated B, okay? Because yeah. it says small islands are endangered. It says islands are at risk. This is due to the fact that species are low in numbers, putting them at risk of extinction. Now, I don't know. Yeah, and so extinction, we're not talking about the islands. We're talking about the, uh, the species that live on the islands. So that's when we go... Oh, okay. This makes sense. And then you would have to say, okay, let me take this out and let me just throw this right over here because, well, we're talking about the species becoming extinct. Okay. okay. And specifically, we're talking about island dwelling island bird dwelling. species. We're not talking mm -hmm. about anything at the top of the paragraph. We're speaking down no. here. This is the last, last line. Right, right. In the paragraph. Right. Mm -hmm. And so that's that. I'm but just, basically, this yeah. part here that say, consequently, many species on the island are very rare and endangered, right? When yep. you say consequently, that means this is like a resolution of all the other um, words in above it. Like all the reasons are like, like. You know, when you see this word here, consequently, it's like the result of all the, mm -hmm, the, the mm -hmm. parts, uh, you know. This is the, the why, the, the answer. Yeah. The why. Yeah. Because of uh, this. The this why. The why. Uh -huh. 
Those ah, are the result. Got it. So, so that's the result. Many species on the island are rare because they've been getting extinct and the, the, the ones that are not extinct are in danger because of all the, um, you know, all the causes. Problems say, with the islands, correct? You know, all the problems with the islands, yeah. Okay. So um, the only thing I'm, I'm doubting about, the, about that answer is the part that say it's small because there's no small islands anyways. They're talking about island, not a small islands. Oh, 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 I like so, it. So that's the reason why I'm so, retracting myself and taking I, that answer. Let's see. Hey, that's why Louis Para said, Mira, Dario, you are wrong. Okay, you are wrong. Right? <laughs> right? right? Oh. <laughs> no, but that's a good point. So, Dario, remember, very point taken with the consequently. However, the question is island dwelling bird species, not species in general. Right. So we're speaking specific, specifically about those birds and the bird species that used to dwell on the islands. And so they're extinct because obviously this is happening. So let's see, let's see. So that's why I'm trying. And, and so that's really good because you said small islands, but there's no mention of small islands. Small islands. Right. And these small um, islands are in danger. If there are no mention of small islands, then they cannot be in danger. <laughs> right. Yeah, I think. I think C would be like. A more this is this is a tough one. I, I mean, it's not an easy answer. But I don't know because they <laughs> animals are not birds, so I don't know. But could be. I mean, yeah, it's all right. Okay, well, let's see because at the end we're going to see exactly what yes. is and what isn't, right? Okay, we're gonna see exactly birds, what they are animals, but. Also, I, I don't know if, if us, if we have to be specific with the, with the words like bear species, I don't know if, it's, if that is important thing and difference to animals, to yeah, birds. No, to, animals and no, birds even, are different thing, but at even, the same time the, they are the same. The, the A is the same one as the C. The only thing that differentiate them is the part that say island dwelling animals and the other ones say bird species. This is not like, this is not specifying what kind of bird species, but this one say that are the ones in island dwellings with that include the bird species. Yeah, so that's, that's true. The, that's is the same answer? Is the same answer, so is specific for the Iceland dwellers. Yeah, the other one is more specific. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, preach, preacher. Uh, if you're a preacher, you better preach. Okay. Well, <laughs> let's see, because I'm putting it here, see, just to see, hey, if it's correct. We don't know, but let, we don't know. We're going to check. We don't know. We're going to check. We don't know. We're going to check, right? And so, okay, so I love the breakdown of it. And I love how we're using different vantage points to understand the question better. Remember, we're not trying to do any speed or anything. We're using and applying tips, strategies, and techniques to help us at least eliminate and understand from a deeper meaning, especially with inference questions and these types of questions. So let's keep it going. Oh, except, okay. I oh. love except <laughs> questions, okay? I'm so excited about these. You can see me. All right, and so with accept questions, this is what we got to do. All of the following are true about islands, except, so no, you're not going to read the paragraph. We're going to plug in the information from the answers and see if there's a contradiction mm -hmm. or a contrast. This is going to make it very easy for us to understand the questions. So let's check this out. Let's try using it. A, islands provide climatic and natural elements to the world. 
keywords, climatic and natural elements to the world. Here we go. I think I found it. Contribute to climate regulation and provide the world with resources, natural elements, and commercial agriculture, fisheries, and tourism. But is tourism natural elements? So mm -hmm. I don't know. What I'll do, I'll say, mm, I don't really like this answer. I'll give it 40%. Um, so I in the first one here, I know. The ecosystem of the island provides fresh water, wood, fiber, food, and raw material. That will be, I think. That's an excellent. Because excellent. all of them are mm. element, natural element, right? That's right. Very yeah, good. Yeah, but tourism is not one. That's that's what he's saying. Lo que está diciendo que el turismo no es un elemento natural. No, 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 no. The <laughs> no in the in the is one to the third one. The ecosystem of island provide fresh water, wood, fried food, and raw materials as well as cultural resource of economies and lifestyle. Okay, well now, after reading that little part, now it kind of makes a little bit more sense because natural elements of the world, what is it? Water, is water, wood, wood fiber, fiber. Food. food, raw materials. Well, I don't know if that's natural, but that's okay. All right, so let's just look at what we're going to do. We're not going to stay on that answer. We're going to keep it going. We're going to say, okay, this one's not too yeah. good, but let's go. Okay. So then B, island populations are completely self-sustainable. Now, here we go. No, because say they are more vulnerable. Not the not the Ooh. population, but the economy. No. So if yeah. the economy, so if the economy is vulnerable, the population are two. Is two. E is the answer. Very good, Oriana. Yeah. It's the key word vulnerable. Now, if you don't understand what vulnerable is, don't worry. I think that's going to be a question for the vocabulario question. I'm going to help you right here. Now, you may not think know what, of course vulnerable is we have to figure out does vulnerable mean positive or negative right now if you know what vulnerable is you would say negative but if you don't know what it is we need to understand the context of the sentence because it says completely self-sustainable that's positive but with vulnerable it says due to smaller population after that sentence there's a lot of negativity Distance from larger markets, environmental threats, fragile ecosystems, dependence, dependence on other markets. So if they're dependent on other markets, they cannot be completely self-sustainable. Completely self-sustainable. Yeah. Does that make sense, Dario? Okay. All right. Okay. All right. I think. Okay. Now look at C. Island populations depend on many of their own resources for survival. Yeah, yeah, because if they depend on other markets, they're fucked, <laughs> right? If they depend on anyone else, they are fucked. Because it says right here, smaller population is because they depend on other people and they're gonna die. Now, small island populations also depend on other markets for support. They have to if, of course, it is vulnerable due to the smaller population. So that's right. They're not, they cannot be completely sustainable if they are reliant on other markets for support. That's the key. That's the key right there. Okay. So with the accept questions, I went, what did I do? Tip number one, I plugged in some information. Luisana, we got scared. We were like, okay, natural elements of the world. We, could, we found it up here. But again, with Dario, we were still a little bit I would say, you know what, if I can't find a more worse answer, I'm going to choose this answer. I'll repeat that. If this answer sounds a little bad, I'm going to put it number one until I find something that sounds worse. And B, okay. it sounds horrible because it yeah. does not say anything about them being self-sustainable. And therefore, that is a 99% grab, okay, in terms of, you know, um, in terms of the, uh, God, I just lost my thought. 
in terms of, you know, the question, the, you know, the answers that are provided. Okay. And it goes into C, then it goes into D. Unless there is a real reason for you to switch your answer, tip number 5,000, do not switch your answer unless you are 100% sure. Because most times when people switch their answers, they always get it. You they're wrong. That's yeah. Right. And then they also switch it from the right answer. <laughs> so obviously, Dario, overanalyzing, which you had done in the previous question, that ends up happening a lot. So that's how you're going to answer accept questions. Get the keywords, plug it in. And Oriana, she said completely self-sustainable. She said, uh-uh, it says vulnerable here. Completely self-sustainable, that's positive. Vulnerable is negative. There's a contrast between ideas here. I don't like B. You don't have to look any further. You don't have to look any further. If you are 100% sure looking at B and say, wait, vulnerable says here. No way island populations are completely self-sustainable because it says vulnerable. Get it out and go to the next question. <laughs> well, I did that because we are in, in a class. In that group, I if, know, I was, I know. If, if I was <laughs> in a, in a <laughs> test, I, I read 1,000 times my answer. <laughs> mm. Absolutely. Totally to be confident. Agree. Yeah, confidente. Is that right, Dario? Yep. Uh, you got to be confidente with your, 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 I don't know. Anyway, be confidente with your confidente. Uh, that's pretty good. Okay. Hey, I love this one. Extinction. What is ex? Oh, Spanish. Of course. What's that? Espan. Extinction. How do you say that in Spanish? Extinction. Um. Extinction. 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 Uh, so which one is the best answer? Death, disappearance, existence, or growth? Uh, In disappearance. B, I guess. Uh -huh. B. B, disappearance. Okay. Oriana, mm -hmm. you think disappearance? Or uh, yes. Now, obviously, now tip number one is it or or death? Death. Right. No, but death. Uh huh. Death. 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 Puede Sorry, ser, death. Puede ser death or disappearance, but death. Every animal dies. Yeah. Or oh, everyone mm -hmm. dies. But extinction means that the species is going to disappear. Disappear, forever. yeah. Not they're just going to be dead, a couple dead. It's just that it's just they're going to disappear of the, you know, world. So, right. I think so, that's the closest one. And so one way to tackle vocabulario questions, extinction is obviously negative. Death and disappearance are both negative existence yeah. is neutral growth is positive so we're simple. going to eliminate bless you we're going to eliminate d and we're going to mm -hmm. eliminate c because c. that's mm -hmm. a positive uh what is it a positive now and existence is a neutral now we're looking for something negatory which is a and b so then that eliminates two answers and then you got a 50 50 chance so extinction, obviously, what that means is the animals disappear forever. And so obviously, with that being said, I would probably go with the disappearance. Right? Yeah. That's how you do it, okay? And then, of course, understanding context of it. This is due to the fact that species are low in numbers, putting them at risk of extinction. extinction. If, they're at, okay. if, they're, if they're low in numbers... Putting them at risk of extinction may mean zero numbers, meaning bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. All right. So there we go. Let's put that be. All right. There you go. That's a couple of techniques for vocabulary of questions. Oh, yeah. This was, oh, okay. <laughs> let's get it ugly. It's going to get ugly now, baby. <laughs> sustainable, sustainable development. Okay, sustainable development. 
This is it right here. And it says, paragraph six supports which of the following statements about sustainable development? Now, check this out. If you look at the answers, they're very, very similar because it says measures, measures in A, B. And then it says threats, threats in C and D. A and B, it says measures such as education and technology. B, measures such as tourism and pollution. Okay. And then after that, it says C, threats such as tourism and pollution. And then D says threats to biodiversity. So what we have to do is we're going to have to scan this very quickly to see which of those education, technology, tourism, pollution, tourism, pollution, C, B and C both have tourism and pollution, which might raise the chance a little bit in terms of obviously, um, you know, you, you believe in that, oh, you know what, B or C could be the answer because they're very, very similar, right? And it says have been taken to tackle or have been eliminated through education reforms. Ooh, threats have been eliminated? <laughs> I doubt it, but here we go. Let's look at this. Explain that the biological diversity of island uh, ecosystems is endangered, vulnerable, isolated, and fragile. It was also noted that biodiversity loss would accelerate and continue due to pollution, climate change, exploitation. Some threats to island biodiversity include tourism. Ooh, just what's happening out here in Thailand. That's why they shut down Maya Bay in the famous movie, The Beach with Leonardo DiCaprio because the Chinese, no offense to the Chinese, they came around and they fucked all the coral up. <laughs> so they shut it down for about five years and they reopened. Crazy, huh? Very good, good on their part. Good job, Krabi. All right, so here we go, let's continue. Natural disasters, unsustainable behavior and pollution work plans. <gasps> Work plans have been outlined recently to address these challenges confronting island populations. Here we go. In 1992, Agenda 21 established activities for sustainable development in these regions mm. through education, technology, data, and strategy, along with cooperation of the international community and the support of endangered regions. So... What do you think? If you look at D, threats to biodiversity have not lessened despite the efforts. What do you think? What do you think about D? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no? No, no, because mm -hmm. guess what? In 1992, they established activities for sustainable development to cooperate with the international community in the support of endangered regions. We don't know if the threats to biodiversity are continuing after that. It doesn't say anything in regards to that. That's why I don't like D. Let's go to C. Threats such as tourism and pollution have been eliminated. Have they been eliminated? Does it say that tourism has been eliminated? No. No, C, gone. B, measures such as tourism and pollution have been taken to tackle threats to island biodiversity. Mm. Could be. So what this sentence is saying is that tourism and pollution have been taken to tackle threats to the island. How can they be taken when they are the threat? That doesn't make any sense. How the mm -hmm. hell can tourism and pollution be taken to tackle the threats when they are the threat? Right. A, measures such as education and technology have been taken to tackle the threats to island biodiversity. Right here, sustainable development. Through education and technology, with the cooperation of the international community and the support of endangered Draco. regions, these are the measures, these are the measures, these established activities have been taken to tackle the threat of or to island biodiversity. Does that make sense? Do you guys understand that? 
Yep. Dario. Okay. Why? Why? Tell me why do you like that answer, Dario? I mean, is the is a measure that, that they're taking to to affront or to fight against the uh, threats or to to the island that, um, um, by the diversity. So. Um, I mean, and, and obviously the threats are uh, above that well, say some threats to the island that the island biodiversity includes tourism, mm -hmm. um, inv invasive alien species, climate change, natural disasters, and pollution. So yeah, I think, I, yeah. A, right, because we're looking at what is being taken to tackle the threats. A, it says have been taken to tackle threats. B, have been taken to tackle threats. C, have been eliminated. How the hell can tourism and pollution be eliminated? No, threats to biodiversity have not lessened despite the efforts. And no, that's not what it says. It's the exact opposite. At the bottom of the paragraph, it says in 1992, they formed this to help tackle the problem. So then we're looking at what the measures are doing at education and technology are helping tackle the problems. We have to understand the context. Okay. Does that make sense? Measures, tourism and pollution are the problem. The measures, we're looking at what is helping tackle the threats of island biodiversity. It's education and it's technology. Luisana, does that make sense? Mm, not really. Okay, why? Ask me why. Tell me why. Why doesn't that make um, sense to you? Um, here say some treats to Iceland. Biodiversity, including tourists, invasive island species, climate change, natural disaster, unsustainable behavior, and pollution. So, okay, okay. Well, the thing is, we're looking. Yeah, at the, yeah, yeah. What? No, no. We're looking at that contrast of information. So, if we see D, it says threats to biodiversity have not lessened. Is that true? Because guess what? Agenda 21 was established in 1992. So how do we know if the efforts, if, if the threats to biodiversity have lessened, if in 1992 they implemented these different activities to help with it? It's not in the paragraph. C, mm -hmm. it says threats such as tourism and pollution, both true. Okay, those are the problems. But it's saying they've been eliminated. Absolutely not true. No, of course. B, it says measures such as tourism and pollution have been taken. What? Tourism and pollution no. is the problem. How the it's hell the are problem. you going yeah. to continue doing this without educating people that it is a problem? So that's why measures. Such oh, got it. Got, got it. it. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, got it. What is measures? Uh... Okay, does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. What's up, Dario? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Dario, you understand? Tu Sí, sí, sí. Okay. What? The correct one? The, hey. You didn't hey. select the correct hey. one. Sorry, sorry. Hey. Oh, lo siento, lo siento. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Essential information questions. You're going to be given a little small sentence here, and you are going to have to find the matching sentence that means the exact same thing. What's going to happen is the bad answers are going to show contradictions and contrasts to what is actually being said. And this is how you begin to quickly eliminate. Okay. And so let's look at this. These developments have clearly led to greater awareness. Okay, the developments have helped with awareness, both value of the precious areas 
and our obligation to protect them from further risk. So with these developments, it has helped us with greater awareness of the precious areas and how we need to protect them. We need to put the sentence in our own words. Strategy number one, put the sentence in your own words first. Step number two, let's go to the answers. These steps forward have resulted in solutions to island risk and our need to present them. Does that sound like the same sentence? These steps four have resulted in solutions. Where are the solutions? To island risks and our need to prevent them. Now, our need to prevent them, okay, but solutions to island risk, I'm a little bit scared about. It's okay. Let's continue. Let's go to B. These steps four have resulted say, in, huh? It's say our obligation. Not right, our and our obligation. To prevent them. Right. Say, and also say protect them, not prevent them. I mean, they're talking about the... Um, the B is good. I like the B. You said B or D? B, B. These steps four have resulted in our obligation to protect regions with precious resources, precious resources, and to understand them better. Does it say anything about us, a greater understand awareness or understand them no. more? It, it doesn't I mean, say it, no, 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 understand yeah, It doesn't no. say anything about, no, no. Under, about understanding them more. Yeah. Very mm -hmm. good. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's look at C. This is, I know, these are really tricky questions. By the way, I'm going to be putting some of the videos from my reading course into your Dropbox link, and you're going to see me dive into more of these specific questions so you can understand them better, okay? Okay. Okay. Thank All you, right. Senia. And then C, these steps forward have led to an understanding of regions with precious resources and our need to prevent further risk. Now, are we preventing further risk or are we protecting them from further risk? We have to protect, not to prevent. Oh, we're looking for protect. Yeah. I think, I think, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, that's, that's the key word there because because awareness and understanding, it's kind of the same. I mean, when you're aware of something, that means that you understand that reality, basically. Like you, you're aware, you know, you, you understand. That means almost the same. Uh, so uh -huh. I think the word that is different in, in almost all of the answers is the protection. And the last one say about the, our duty. Our duty. Um, our and that's our obligation. Ooh. Exactly. And the other ones say need, 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 need. So that's the only one that say duty our and duty. obligation. Ooh. But just because of those two um, words, I will go with D. D. Damn. And D, it says, these, step, these steps forward have resulted in a better understanding, led to a greater awareness mm -hmm. of the importance, the value of these island regions, these precious areas, and our duty, our obligation to conserve, to protect, them from mm -hmm. ongoing threats, further risk. D. Yes. That's it's our. Yep. That's how you do our it. Own that's how you mm -hmm. do the essential information questions. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. That's what you do. You look and you plug it in exactly how Dario was doing. He said, Ooh, our duty, our obligation. Obligacion. Hey, I yeah. know, I know. Thank you. I know I'm good. I'm good. I know. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I know one word and I just converted it to Spanish. I know. Okay, good. I'm going to be giving you those videos so you can understand these more. Okay. All right.
Ooh, this is a very long question because it covers the entire passage, but do not be confused. If it ends up saying, according to the passage, why is it particularly important to protect island regions? What I want you to do is to just go down to the next paragraph and to see, or based on what we've already read, try answering the question. So here we go. Here it talks about the Barbados program, sustain sustainable development. Um, these actions include the biodiversity education. It includes NGO protection, alien species, blah, 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 blah. Nope, there's nothing in here. Well, we're going to have to use everything we have in our mind and try to eliminate the bad answers to try to find the good answer. Tip number one, do not read every paragraph. No, you're going to waste time. You have one hour with about 40 to 42 questions. If you go through and you just read and read and read and read, you're going to lose so much time, especially for the other passages. Do not do that. We're going to use the knowledge we have based on these six paragraphs we've already been through and try to answer it. So why is it important? A, because they have unique endemic species and are of great value to the world at large. Did it say that? I don't remember that being said. Let's continue. B, because their species are more endangered than other species. <laughs> maybe. 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 Yeah, maybe. I kind of like that one more than A. Let's see if the answer is correct. Uh, C, because island regions are more are prone to the effects of climate change. I don't remember anything about the climate change. Ooh, yeah. pretty much. That was not mentioned. D, although, yes, I know, Dario, it's, it talked about natural disasters and some climate. They mentioned climate one time in one paragraph. I think it's paragraph two but we really don't give a fuck. Let's look at D though, because <laughs> island regions offer natural defense and resources. Ooh. So based on, oh, hold on. Here we go. Now oh. remember, vulnerable, isolated, and okay, here we go. It was also noted that the biodiversity loss would accelerate <laughs> Continue due to pollution. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Due to pollution. Uh, yeah, and then continue going on and on. Some threats to island biodiversity include tourism, invasive species, uh, da, 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 work plans, confront to island population, support of endangered regions. Why? Yeah, to be honest with you, I don't know. What do you guys think? What, what would your answer be? <sighs> we don't like C. Luisana doesn't like C. Now, offer natural defense. I've never heard of anything about natural defense. Natural defense. Now, we, I would say A and B. Unique. Actually, actually, yeah. Uh, the number two is that, that natural defense. Okay. Natural defense, yeah. Okay. Uh, I think in paragraph two, if I remember. Uh huh. Islands are rich reservoir C. Look. No, then. No, no, no. Hey, there's one that's. Um... Here we go. So this one's really easy. Now, check this out. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. We could eliminate A and we could probably choose B as the answer because it says like A, they have unique endemic species and are of great value to the world at large. Some island species are found nowhere else apart from these areas. We call them endemic species. Okay, and of this, the greatest percentage, but does it say that it's important for the world at whole? Ugh, this is a harder one. I don't know. I would have to choose the worst answer and then go from there. Whichever one would be the more worst answer. Okay. Uh, here they're also supplying natural defense. Oh. Where, 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 where? <laughs> In the oh, they also supply natural defense, <laughs> contribute to the climate regulation. Oh, oh. See, I told you. And resources. <laughs> We're going D and D answer. I told you. Does that I make sense? I would choose D because it says right there, it says this everything. Thing. They yeah, also supply exactly. natural defense, the contribute same. to climate regulation, and provide the world with resources and commercial agriculture, fisheries, and tourism. 
Boom. That's your answer. Why is it important to protect island regions? Offer natural defense and resources 1,000%. Does that make sense, Oriana Dario? Yes, for me, yes. Okay. Yeah, awesome. me too. Awesome. Okay, let's keep it going. Oh, my God. Okay, let me... Oh, do- my God. This is the worst one for me. I love this one. This one's beautiful. I, I, I hate it, this one. General, <laughs> specific. Specific, general. Okay, now check this out. This has been proven by studies. So we're looking for the first mention of what this is. What is this? What is this? General specific, specific general. We're looking for a follow-up about this. What is that? Which indicate a huge decrease in unusual island animals. So whatever this is, it's causing a huge decrease in unusual island animals. Okay. So I'm trying to figure out, this has been proven by studies. Mm -mm 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 -mm. This has been proven by studies. We can't put it in A because we need something that set that refers to this. Now it says here, consequently, many species on islands are very rare and endangered. Are very rare and and endangered. Right, but that that's not a... No? Mm-hmm. No? Does that it's, make sense? Or no? no? I mean, yeah, but that doesn't... Uh, that, that is no... That, that hasn't uh, been proven by, by studies, so... Okay, so it's talking about unusual island animals and something that's being proved by studies. We're looking at studies. Now check this out. After B, after B, it says extinction is on the increase. Can we put that? This has been proven by studies which in- indicate that the huge decrease extinction is on the increase because obviously there's a huge decrease in unusual island animals. C would be a perfect spot to put this. Dario, please tell the girls why you can put that sentence there. B after uh, that. C. What? C? Now, obviously, where can we put this sentence? Can we put it in? Oh, B or in oh, C? oh, 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 oh. I, I, yeah. Yep. Uh, there. C. Mm-hmm. That's the well, correct answer. Why? Why do you think so? Because, because it's talking the the that uh, sentence. It's talking about the extinction. Basically, yep. because that, that is a study. This is, extinction is an increase, right? So, and after you can say, this has been proven by studies which indicate a huge decrease in unusual island animals. That's the part that is extinction. Just just taking another little. Okay, but you you understand why why C? Okay, so the basically extin- that that the fear the uh, the is anymore. something that has been proven by studies, right? Yeah. Also, extinction. What is the, the extinction is an increase? Is there that is when, the result right, for when, when extinction is an increase? That means that there is a huge decrease on animals in in that island you know that's mm-hmm. on uh, island animals so that's why basically i think i think they they understood mm-hmm. because b it says extinction is on the increase that's a general so this they prove right right the specific is this has been proven by studies And Mm -hmm. then after that is the example. As an example, 90% of bird species that are now extinct were island dwellers. So extinction is on the increase. This has been proven. Uh, Got it, got it. Does Mm -hmm. that make sense? (laughs) I love it when Luis Sada's got that. Got it. Oh, I got it. Got it, got it. (laughs) Got it. You see, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. Okay. So good, good. All right. So you understand that. So it goes from general, general specific yeah. to example. 
GSX, GSX, general specific example, general specific example. I'm gonna send essential and we're going to send insert questions to you. Okay, and infer. Okay, I'm gonna be inboxing you probably about three to four videos uh, in the uh, in the Dropbox link. So you can see some of these techniques that I use, but more in detail so you can understand them better. Okay. All right. Does that make sense? Well, damn, today.